So they just announced uh, who all the heroes who are getting solar skins are. As we knew, Okrista's already getting one, and it's going to be magic attack, kind of like I expected. I did say that was one of the ones we'd probably see, so she's going to get second magic attack skin. Lars, on the other hand, they're getting him a new skin, but they're giving him health, which is a skin that you should probably almost definitely skip. For a lot of reasons, I don't recommend doing health skin on your DPSs like I skipped on Maya and Arachne. I don't have their health skins. Um, I didn't do all their health glyphs all the way either. Right, Lars? I wish I could undo this health glyph. This is one of my biggest regrets in this game is I put this health glyph in. I'd, instead of giving me a health skin, I'd rather have a way to remove this health glyph because he has more health than I need him to have. There's, like I said, there's a lot. I've done a very in-depth video about the energy system in this game, about, like, min-maxing or whatever. I'll link that at the end of this video and in the comments or in the description in the comments or whatever. Just, like, just look for that after the, this if you watch this video. Um, we'll talk a lot like I said, just didn't watch that video. It goes in a lot more detail about that. I don't want to re rehash that here. But generally, I try to keep uh, health low on all of these types of heroes. And so giving him a skin that is health, I mean, that's one I'm definitely not going to buy. I don't recommend it, and I don't think you should get it either. In my opinion, my Lars already has more health than he needs, and it's actually kind of detrimental. And getting a whole another 100k health would probably be detrimental to him, to his ability to gain energy. Um, and then Daredevil is the other hero who gets a new skin, and my Daredevil is probably at the bottom of the list here. Daredevil, here she is. So she has agility, critical hit, this is probably the best of her skins right here. Then she has two health skins, which I don't know if she actually needs them. Kind of same thing, like you don't need a lot of health. Then magic defense is going to be your next one. Magic defense is probably okay, uh, just because I don't think she has much magic defense at all. Yeah, no, she probably has like zero magic defense. So a magic defense skin might help her, like, you know, survive some AEs from Aurora or whatever, so she doesn't, like, instant die from that. So that might be good for her. Um, but, again, kind of like this, I don't know what all these health skins are for. I don't think she needs all this health. Mostly she's kind of there to do a bunch of DPS, and having more health just slows down her energy. But that's the heroes we get. We get Krista, we get Lars, we get Daredevil. Lars, definitely the worst skin of this bunch. Like, he doesn't need health. I'm not going to buy it. I don't recommend anyone who has twins buy it. Um, but Krista's skin, she'll get another magic attack skin. That will definitely be a must-have. That's definitely the best skin of this set is the magic attack on Krista. More magic attack on Krista is definitely good. Um, all those ice shard stuff, like, that'd be another 10k magic attack. So just be all of her frozen needles and stuff. We'll do that much more. Um, probably do about another 1,000 damage each needle with a new skin, but over 1,000 damage each needle, that can add up really quickly. So yeah, very good. Anyway, to know more about the energy system, I recommend that you watch the link below.